Hey guys, just a reminder, the Freaker campaign is still going on. We have about 14 days left. We're a little over halfway to the goal. So if you want to get some limited edition Glock 9 merch, support me and support the St. Jude's Children's Research Hospital. The link to the campaign is down below. Hey, what's up guys? Glock9 here and welcome back to Ark. Last night I went ahead and made us a sword for no particular reason other than it's a fucking sword, you know, so that's pretty cool. I also made a canteen which uh, holds a good amount of water, is reasonably lightweight, and does not leak like the water skin. Uh, excuse me. Can you get the fuck out of my way, please? Uh, first thing we are going to do this morning is put in these behemoth gateways. I made three of them last night, so let's get them into place here. Okay, that looks pretty good. Let's get the other two in and then we'll put the gates in. Beautiful. And that didn't extend all the way to the wall, so we can finish that off with either regular walls or maybe the smaller gateway. We'll just have to see what fits better over there. Alright, there we go. Finally got some protection on this side of the base. Probably should have started on the other side, actually, because that's where the swamp is, but... Whatever, we'll get it done. We're fine. Uh, okay, now I have a generator and a refrigerator. I want to put into place here. So let's start with the generator. And we'll just throw it in the corner over here. Okay, now we need to run some electrical wire. I only made one, because it's not a big deal. And just put that in, you can see it down below. Okay, now we need to attach an outlet to the end of that wire. Bam! Now we could have run that wire wherever we wanted to. But like I was saying, this right here is good enough for me, for now anyway. And we get the fridge put down, which I'm just going to put here next to the generator to save some space, because I might want to make another fridge at some point. And now the fridge is connected to the outlet automatically. And now we just need to throw some gasoline in the generator, get it started, and the fridge is powered. So let's go grab some meat and uh, spoiled meat, get that into the refrigerator. So, uh, it can last longer, because I got a whole bunch of that shit in this cabinet. Alright, so the first part of today's plan is to head back to the volcano. I have two more forges on me and two more foundations. We're going to put them down next to our current forges. So we'll have four there on the volcano, ready to smelt down metal. And then we need to go get metal. But instead of mining it ourselves, we're going to try and find and tame an Ankylosaurus or an Anki. They are very good at harvesting metal. So um, once we get the forges down and the foundations, we'll cruise around the volcano, see if we can find a decent one, get it tamed up. It shouldn't be that hard. From what I understand, they're pretty slow, so we can do it on foot. Just shoot one with a trank arrow and kind of run it around shooting it until it passes out so hopefully that all works out well then we can go mine some metal with it i do have a saddle for an anki on me already so that's all done and taken care of uh, we'll get a whole bunch of metal into the forges and that will be uh part one of today's plan uh done and then we're going to drop the anki back off at home and then we are headed to the snow biome and we're going to try and tame a dire wolf. Okay, now we can turn these off because I'm sure they're both done smelting down metal. Yep. And I brought some wood. In Philly, not much. So we're probably going to have to go get a little more. That's fine. Let's get this wood into the forges though. And then we'll go searching for an Anki. Alright, let's see what we can find. Now, if we find one that's sort of in a dangerous area, we can always pick it up and bring it somewhere safer to tame it. Oh shit, look at this. We got some Ankies in a fight up here. No time to whip out the spyglass. Let's just go grab one. Let's see what we got. Bam! What do we have here? Level 16 female. Uh, I think we can do better than that. That's kind of low level. We'll drop her off right there. And the other two are dead. That's a shame. Oh, shit. We gotta go. Alright, let's grab a RG Talon real quick. I know this is messed up. RG on RG violence, but it's gotta happen. I was looking at what we need to summon the Broodmother boss, 
and uh, we picked up one of the artifacts in the last episode. We need two more artifacts, and we need some other shit as well. I know one of them uh, is an RG Talon, so like I said, let's go ahead and just get that now. Alright, there we go. Bam. Two of them. Sweet. We don't need this shirt. We can drop that. We can drop the axe and the spear. I'll take the arrows, though. Here's our RG trap, which means we basically just flew around the entire volcano. And here's an Anki right here. A sick-looking pink one. Oh, this is the one I want. This is the one I want. Let's see what level it is. Level four. God damn it. That's not gonna work. Here's another one right here. Look at this pink bird. That shit's sick, too. Don't, oh, you son of a bitch. Now you have to die. I hate killing beautiful things, but I'm gonna make an exception for you. Yeah, see what happens? Should have just left me alone. Everything would have been fine. But no. You had to start some shit. Let's see what we got here. We've flown around the entire volcano. And we got a level 24. Well, that's the best we've seen. It's not great, but it's gonna have to work. Our forges are right down here. We got plenty of open land. And no dangerous dinos around. Should be the perfect area to knock this guy out. And it shouldn't take long either since he's only a level 24. Come get some, buddy. Yeah, look how slow he is. We can just run around here with no problems. Keep shooting him in the head till he passes out. And that's it. Super fucking easy. Let's get some berries into his inventory. I brought narco berries too. I wasn't sure if we were going to need those or not. We'll just keep an eye on his unconscious meter. I think we're going to be fine. It's not really going down fast, so... Now we just wait. Protect the body. If anything crazy happens, some crazy fucking dino show up or whatever, we'll just run down, get on Philly. I think we could pick him up while he's passed out. Let's hope none of that happens. Grab our arrow back here. Any more arrows sticking out of you? Nope. I think we got them all. All right, there we go. We tamed an Anki. Now, what are we going to name this guy? How about Tony Stark? Because, you know... Iron Man. That works for me. Okay, now, Tony, let's get this saddle on you. And let's go harvest some metal. Uh, coming up here might have been a mistake. There's some metal and obsidian. Let's put Tony down before we run out of stamina here. Let's hop off Philly to the left. Try not to fall off the volcano. Let's grab uh, the obsidian. We got a level. Nice. Grab the metal. Let's put, uh, whoops, wrong menu. Two levels. Put both of them into weight. Drop the stone. Let's uh, get this obsidian and metal into Philly's inventory. And we'll go mine some more. All right, let's drop off Tony right here. Park Philly, and let's get all this metal loaded up into these forges and smelting down. And then we're going to drop Tony off back home. I would leave him up here if we had a better base set up up here and we can keep him protected, but we currently don't have that. So I'm going to take him home. This way he's not exposed to dangerous shit up here. And then once we drop him off, I'm going to put on our fur armor and we are going to head to the snow biome, like I said earlier and try and tame us a dire wolf. The reason I'm doing that is because we have to go explore two more caves in order to get the two additional artifacts we need to fight our first boss. And uh, from what I heard from a lot of different people is that uh, dire wolf is a really good tame to have when running through caves and shit. So hopefully we can find a really high leveled one. Okay, Tony Stark, this is everyone. Everyone, this is Tony Stark. Make him feel nice and welcomed and at home here. Everyone's doing good. Okay, let's get uh, all this shit out of Philly's inventory. 
the metal bars and all that stuff, and then we will head up north. Let's get this chitin armor off, and uh, grab our fur armor. Here we go. Put the chitin armor back in storage. Let's get this shit on. We'll get out of here. Oh, uh, you know what else I want to grab? Uh, the bolas. Because a bola will wrap up a dire wolf and stop it in its tracks, so I figure probably best to have some of those on us. And let's grab this trap out of Philly's inventory, put it in ours. And uh, I think that's it. So let's go. Try and make this shit happen. Now, I know this is going to be a dangerous area. I also know dire wolves run in packs. So my game plan is to kind of find some wolves, scope them out from a distance using the uh, spyglass, find one that's a decent level, and then we can go pick it up. But we need to have our trap ready to go. Because if we pick up a dire wolf, it's going to start attacking Philly. So we can't carry it for too long. So like I said, we'll scope out some wolves, we'll get the trap set up, we'll go grab one, drop it in the trap, get it tamed. Easy peasy, right? Hopefully anyway. So I was thinking this little island right here might be a good place to build the trap, but I'm not going to do that just yet. We need to go get a closer look at what's going on up here. Oh, we got some wild shit going on. There are some wolves running around. Like right there. Let's see what we got. Level 8, not, not interested. That's really the only one I see, honestly. There was some more, but they're getting killed by the mammoth. So, uh... Let's move up, maybe? Possibly over by the uh, penguins, where we kill the penguins and where the oil is. See if we can find some over there. Well, we might as well snag some oil while we're here. And then maybe we'll go check back. Over the area we were just at. What the hell is that thing in the distance? I don't think that's a uh, wolf. Whoops. Yeah, no. That's not what we're looking for. Alright. Let's go. Oh, wait. What do we have over here? Let's take a look. Come on. That's a level 8. But that is a level 64 pack leader. And I will take that. Let's build our trap right here. I can't see shit. Should have used foundations. This might turn out a little funky. <laughs> We're a little lopsided here. But you know what? I think this is going to work anyway. Wolf's not going to be able to get out of here. I mean, I'm pretty sure dire wolves can't make it through doorways. <laughs> I sure hope they can't. If they can, we do have bolas. So, let's just go grab that pack leader. Drop it in the trap. And see what the hell happens. Now, this other wolf might come and try to save his buddy, but he's a level 8. Who gives a shit about that guy? We'll fuck him up. Come here, pack leader. You're mine now. Ow. Stop that. Oh, he's howling for his buddies. Yeah. Oh, he's fucking us up now. Get in that trap. Okay. Yes. You can't get out, can you? Oh, it's you're mine now, bitch. I didn't mean to call you a bitch. You're, you're going to be my best friend, actually. Okay, we're going to be great friends. Listen, I know things look fucked up now, and you probably hate me, but... We're going to grow to love each other. I promise you that. Oh, his buddy's heading over here. He's swimming over here. Come on, go down. All right, well, when his buddy gets here, we're going to have to deal with him. Probably using Philly. Because I didn't bring the shotgun. Yeah, here he comes. Oh, shit. Oh, Philly, what are you doing? Attack this one. Not the tame. Oh, shit. Come here, Philly. We gotta get on this fucking bird. Stop attacking our goddamn tame. What happened? What the fuck just happened? Okay, Philly killed the level 8. 
And, uh, she's chill now. Man, she fucked this dude up, though. I hope we don't end up killing him, because the Trank arrows do deal a little bit of damage. So, um, there's a chance we could wind up killing this guy. And that would really suck. Philly, fuck off. Leave this guy alone. Oh, down he goes. Is he out? Yes. Holy shit, look how close he came to dying. That was amazing. Alright, I'm gonna feed him some narco berries. Make sure he stays knocked out. And we can give him a little bit of raw meat from Philly's inventory, but I really want to see if we can go get some prime meat for him. Because I believe feeding him prime meat will make him a higher level when he tames. So let's see if we can do that. Now we got a couple of dead dire wolves right here. Do you get prime meat from dire wolves? No, I guess not. What do we got over here? Looks like a uh, wild boar. No, we're getting raw meat there too. All right. Looks like we're gonna have to take down one of these mammoths. I know you get prime meat from them. This one's already hurt, so let's do this shit. Come on, die. His friends are coming. Oh, okay, there we go. We killed it. Let's uh, let his friends chill out for a second now. Go harvest that body. Get some prime meat into the dire wolf and we'll be looking good. Nice, we leveled up. We got some pelt, some keratin. Not bad. There we go. Now we just play the waiting game. Philly, you know you really almost fucked things up for me back there. You gotta learn to chill sometimes. Control your emotions. Don't let your emotions control you. Should we kill this little penguin? Nah. We can go get some more oil. Or we can uh, get some more pelt from this dire wolf here. Oh, look at that. Man, prime meat tames him up quick. Okay, uh, Ned Stark is gonna be his name. Two Starks in one day. But no, they are not of relation. I named him Ned Stark because, of course, he's a dire wolf. But why didn't I name him Jon Snow? Because Ned Stark is arguably one of the best fictional characters ever created. Listen, when I first started watching Game of Thrones, I had not read the books yet. I've since read them. But I didn't read them when I first started watching the series, so I was completely ignorant as to what was going to happen. And when I hit episode 9, spoiler alert, and they killed Ned, I was like, this is the greatest fucking show I've ever seen. Because I did not expect that. Ned Stark was amazing. He was my favorite character, still is my favorite character, like I said, of all time. And when they put his head down, I was like, all right, well, something's going to happen. Someone's going to save him. And when they just chopped off the head of the best character on the show, I was like, this is fucking insane. This is the best show I've ever seen in my life. Let's not talk about the last season, though. Let's, let's get that off the table. Let's just end on the first season and say it's the best show ever. There you go, Ned. All right. Ned Stark, this is everybody. Everybody, this is Ned Stark. And no, he's not related to Tony. I know they have the same last name, but that's just a fucking coincidence. Let's get this fur armor off. Get our chitin armor back on. I'm gonna take Ned to go explore the Redwoods. I know that is probably gonna be dangerous. So I'm gonna put my Trank arrows away. Grab some real arrows. Probably should take the shotgun, but I'm leaving it all up to Ned the killing, anyway. And, uh, I should get him some more levels. And it should be interesting. I've been waiting to go explore the Redwoods. And I think Ned is the perfect candidate to help us do that. You don't need a saddle for Ned, in case you were wondering. You just jump right on the back of the dire wolves and you can ride him around. Throw that point into melee damage. And, uh, let's go. Go kill some shit, get some levels, and explore the Redwoods. Try not to get killed. Oh, look at this. This is perfect. Oh, fuck out of here, ants. 
Are you serious? No, oh, that's good. Got a level. What is that health thing? What is that? Is that something that's uh, specific to the dire wolf? I can see their health or some shit? I don't know what that icon is all about, but I'm putting that level into melee damage. And let's go check out these ruins. Should be an explorer note over here. Which is perfect. Get as many levels as we can. That's really the point of me taking Ned through the woods here. Just to get him a whole bunch more levels, toughen him up. Bam. All right, note. I'll read you later. Sure I will. Just like all the other notes that I've read. Seven levels. All right. Melee damage. Melee. 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 Sick. I want to get over there to that, like, bridge. I wonder, can we get down over here? Carefully. Let's hop down over here. Oh, this is gonna hurt a little bit. Uh, well, not that much. Not that much. We're alright. Let's see. There's gotta be another explore note around here somewhere, right? Or are these just ruins? Oh, let's head up these stairs. Not seeing anything. Ah, here we go. Beautiful. What do we got now? Eleven! Alright, we gotta go health and stamina. And then let's just go melee and a couple of into movement speed. I think that's good. I want to try and spread it out a little bit, but I think at this point now, I want to focus on, you know, just basically health and uh, melee damage. What's up, bear? You want to feel the wrath of a Stark? Holy shit. Okay, we got him. We got him. We took some damage there, though. Holy shit. We should go more points into health, I guess. Not good. Let's uh, force feed him a little bit. Here, Ned. Eat your meat. This is what I like. Animals that won't fight back. There we go. Alright, getting some health back. Let's put that point into health. I was gonna go melee damage again, but... I don't think health's a bad move, considering we almost just got killed. Holy shit, it's pretty fucking beautiful in here, isn't it? Look at this. I'd love to have a base right here. Probably be a little bit too dangerous, though. Holy shit. That's a Thyla. And uh, Ned is not doing so good right now, so I'm just going to run away. I don't feel like fighting that thing and having Ned get killed. Um, I'm totally turned around right now. I don't want to go towards the swamp. That would be a bad move. I don't even know if this thing's still chasing us. There's a snake. Oh, shit. Yeah, it was still chasing us, all right. And now we're fucking dead. We're dead. Oh, shit. Ned killed it. Dude. Oh, I'm getting bit by a fucking snake, man. Should have brought the shotgun. Unbelievable. Let's get the hell out of here. Ned, I can't believe you killed that Thyla, dude. That was epic. You saved my life. Holy shit. I owe you one. Probably more than one. Alright, we gotta go this way. Oh, shit! Fucking terror bird. I don't even want to fight it right now, honestly. Oh, that's not a terror bird. That's another Thyla after us now. The Thyla, I think, knocked the bird out of the way, and now it wants our ass. Holy shit. We're almost there. We don't have much stamina left. Keep pushing, Ned. We gotta get home. We gotta get home. This thing is definitely still behind us. Come on, hold out with this stamina. Neebs! I need your help right now, buddy. Uh, I mean, if everyone wants to jump in, that... That could be fun. Can I clear this wall with Ned? Nope, I can't. Alright, let's hop off of him. Get on, Neebs! Here we go! Yeah, everybody jump his ass! Fuck this Thyla! Yes, dude! Wow, that's what I like to see! That's what family's all about! 
sticking together, having each other's backs, all going for the same goal, to murder something. Yes, man. What a way to end this episode. Holy shit. All right, Philly, you can land now. Take it easy. I think we're all good. Everyone's good, right? No one got killed? I think we're all good. Wow, dude. That was amazing. All right, we gotta be a little more careful when we go exploring the Redwoods again. Oh man, yeah, we need everything. We need a lot more stone, more thatch, a lot more wood. So I think that's what I'm gonna do with the rest of the day. And this evening. Is uh, take Philly and uh, Bev and Stoner to go out and get more stone, wood, and thatch. And craft some more behemoth gateways. So we can uh, start getting this base a little bit more secure. But guys, I hope you enjoyed this episode. And I hope you're looking forward to seeing more. Thank you so much for watching and all of the support. It really does mean a lot. You guys can follow me on Instagram or Twitter. It's at Glock9Gamer. I follow all gamers back. Stick around for more ARK. And I will catch you guys in the next episode.